University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. The plot thickens. Of the 16 teams through to this second round of the competition, Imperial and Strathclyde have already made it to the quarterfinals where they'll meet tonight's winners. And we've said a fond goodbye to both St Andrews and Manchester. Now, Merton College, Oxford, firstly, had what turned out to be an easy draw against Wolfson College, Cambridge, in their first round fixture, beating them by 210 points to a mere 40. They return tonight as one of the few teams still in the competition to be playing a reserve. And attentive viewers would be correct to think that the reserve is indeed the daughter of the Bristol captain of a couple of series ago. With an average age of 20, let's meet the Merton team again. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Lemaist. I'm from Bristol and I've just finished studying German and linguistics. Hi, I'm Conor O'Sheachan. I'm from Cork and I've just finished studying philosophy, politics and economics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Pax. I'm from London and I'm studying English. Hi, I'm William, also from London, and I'm studying physics. Now, the team from the University of Warwick scored one of the highest totals in the first round, beating Wolfson College Oxford by 255 points to 105 at the gong, and that was despite languishing on minus five for the first few minutes and only hitting equal terms by the halfway point. With an average age of 22, let's meet the Warwick team again. Hi, I'm Richard Pollard. I'm from Cheshire and I'm studying history and politics. Hello, I'm George Braid. I'm originally from Brighton and I was studying a PhD in physics. This is their captain. Hello, I'm Andrew Rout. I'm from Beerstead in Kent and I'm studying for a PhD in maths. Hello, I'm Owen Burrell. I'm from Lancaster and I'm studying English literature. <laughs> OK, the rules never change in this contest. Ten points for starters. 15 points for bonuses. Starters are solo efforts. Right, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for 10. The logo known as the Mobius Loop, consisting of three twisted arrows forming a triangle, indicates that the item to which it is attached is... Martin Butchart. Recycl recyclable? That's correct. Suitable for recycling. <laughs> so you get a set of bonuses now on criminal law. The so-called carrier's case in which the defendant absconded while transporting bales of goods is cited as an example that clarified the historical English law of larceny. In which century did it take place? What do people think? 18th. The 18th. Or 18th or 19th, I'm not sure. A lot of... I'd vote 18th. But... Yeah, go for it. Go. The 18th? That was the 15th century in 1473. The 1784 case, Rex versus Shipley, used to illustrate the concept of seditious libel, involved the republishing of a contentious political pamphlet by William Shipley, the dean of the cathedral of which Welsh city? Of cathedral cities, does anyone I know? I mean, St David's is a big Welsh cathedral. Ooh. Can sure. you try that? Sure. Yeah. St David's? Oh, uh, St Asaph. McNaughton's case, used to clarify the law relating to insanity in criminal trials, relates to the death in 1843 of Edward Drummond, the private secretary of which prime minister? Oh, that's Peel. Yeah. OK. Peel? It is Robert Peel, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this start of questions on the buzzers. Which religious and political institution was founded in the aftermath of the Battle of the Diamond in 1795? It continues to mark the military victories of William III by parading annually... Martin O'Sheachan. Uh, the Orange Order. The Orange Order is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on words in which the letter B for Bravo appears at least three times. In each case, give the word from the description. Firstly, a nickname of Dickie Sludge in Sir Walter Scott's novel, Kenilworth. In everyday speech, the word indicates a frivolous, flighty, or excessively talkative person. Blabbermouth? Ooh, nice. That's, all, that's not three Bs. It is three Bs. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Blabbermouth? No, it's flibbity gibbet. Oh. <laughs> and secondly, a derogatory term defined by Chambers' dictionary as needless, meaningless, or mindless use of jargon, for example, in some of the modern spiritual or therapeutic organisations. Techno babble or pseudo babble, maybe? Ooh, yeah, OK, something babble. Techno-babble? Yeah, techno-babble. Techno-babble? No, it's psycho-babble. 
In the seven ages of man speech in As You Like It, what word does Shakespeare use to characterize reputation which the soldier seeks even in the cannon's mouth? Can I kick myself? I don't know. <laughs> No idea. Pass, sorry. It's the bubble reputation. Right, ten points for this. Oysters, scallops and clams belong to which class of the mollusk phylum? Merton uh, O'Shea. No, sorry. Uh, I've no idea. You've no idea? <laughs> I, I was going to say mollusks. You mollusk. shouldn't have then, should you? <laughs> you lose five points. So named because its member shells consist of two hinge segments. Warwick uh, Brain. Bivalves. Bivalves is correct, yes. <laughs> You get a set of bonuses on the origins of life. Demonstrating in 1668 that larvae failed to develop on meat that had been sealed off to prevent female flies from landing on it, the Italian Francesco Redi provided evidence against which theory of life, which is now discredited? I need a two-word phrase. Um, primordial soup, maybe? I thought that was the current one. What did you say? It uh, might be that, but I'm not sure. I think it's... Too early for that. Yeah, you got anything, George? I can't remember the name of it. Uh, primordial soup? No, it's spontaneous generation. What term is commonly used for the aqueous solution of organic compounds from which living systems on Earth may have developed? Presumably, probably. According to the theories proposed independently by Alexander Operin. Primordial David... soup? Primordial soup is correct. In 1953, the US chemist Stanley Miller showed under experimental conditions that hydrogen, ammonia, methane and water exposed to an electrical charge could yield what class of compounds necessary for the origin of life? Amino acids. Correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture around now. Your picture starter is the title of a novel published in 2019, but you'll see it translated into Old English. For ten points, give me the precise modern English title. Merton Lemaist. Girl, woman, other. Girl, woman, other is correct. <laughs> Following on from Bernadine Evaristo's Girl, woman, other, your picture bonuses are the titles of three more winners of the Booker Prize since 2000, again translated into Old English. In each case, I'll need the precise original title for the points. Firstly... <sighs> oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Got a clue the something anything. line, um, the like the some sort of like the beauty line. Oh yeah, the, that's I think that's the thing. The beauty line, the beauty line. No, it's the line of beauty by oh. Alan Hollinghurst. <laughs> Secondly, <sighs> something. It's the last one. Mm. Not oh, no, it's not mother. Um, yeah, I don't know. My tutor's going to be so disappointed. <laughs> I don't know. Pass. It's a brief history of seven killings. And finally... Something about the skeleton, ban her soy, or the body. Um, oh, um... Like, something that body? Like, oh, yeah. Some infect Infecaf. I don't know. I don't pass. Know. pass. It's Bring Up the Bodies by Hilary Mantel. Right, ten points for this. How is the political philosopher Charles Louis de Seconde better known? Born in France in 1689, he's noted for his work on the classification of governments, the separation of powers and the political influence of climate. Martin O'Chiron. Uh, Voltaire. No. You lose five points and the political influence of climate, all of which he explored in his 1748 work, The Spirit of the Laws. Warwick Braid. Uh, Montesquieu. Montesquieu is correct, yes. <laughs> so you get a set of bonuses this time on rice dishes from around the world. What name means mixed rice and is given to a Korean dish of steamed white rice mixed with an assortment of ingredients that may include vegetables, Meat and red chilli paste. I think this is what bibimbap is. Okay. Bibimbap. Correct. What name is believed to derive from that of a former empire in Senegal and is given to a one-pot dish containing meat seasonings and stew ingredients? Um, wolf. 
Wolof rice. Wolof. Yeah, Wolof. A Wolof. Yeah, I'll accept that. You've got the right empire. Fried rice is the meaning of the name of which Indonesian dish in which the rice can be combined with shrimps, fish, meat, vegetables and flavoured pastes and is served with a fried egg? Is this what mee goreng is? Mee mm. goreng? No, it's nazi goreng. Oh. Ten points for this. Meanings of what term include the increase in the amount of an enzyme due to a stimulus, a method of reasoning where a general law is inferred from particular instances? Ah. Warwick Rout. Inductive. Induction is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on the German mathematician Emmy Noether. Born in 1882, Noether gives her name to a theorem that has become a central pillar of theoretical physics. It connects symmetries with what specific class of physical laws? Conservation laws, right. Yeah. Conservation laws? Correct. According to Noether's theorem, symmetry in time requires the conservation of what quantity? It's energy. energy. Yeah. Energy. Correct. 7001 Nerta with a perihelion of just over two astronomical units is an example of what type of object? Uh, is that the right distance for asteroids? Or asteroid. Yeah, it could be. An asteroid. Correct. Right Ten points for this. <laughs> I need a short common name here. The brambling crossbill and linnet belong to what family of passerine birds? Other species of this family have common names that begin with the words green, gold, bull and chaff. Warwick Rout. Finch. Finch is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses this time on the 2020 Oscars. Noted for the success of the Korean film Parasite. Name the person or the film that lost out to Parasite in the following categories. First, who directed the Spanish-language film Pain and Glory, which lost out to Parasite in the Best International Feature Film category? Anyone? No, no I've got nothing. Um, Louis. No, it was Pedro Almodovar. Noah Baumbach was nominated for the Best Original Screenplay for which film? Do we have any idea? No. <laughs> Pass. That was marriage story. Sam Mendes lost out to Bong Joon-ho in the category of Best Director, having been nominated for which film? Guessing. 1917, yeah. Sorry? 1917. Oh, it could be 1917. It was 1917. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. What adjective connects a 1915 verse narrative by the Australian writer C.J. Dennis, the nickname of the jazz musician Tommy Dorsey, and Lawrence Stern's semi-fictionalised description of his journey through France and Italy in the 1760s. Warwick Rout. Short. No. Long. No, it's sentimental. As in a sentimental journey. Ten points for this. In the third, he falls for the first time. In the fourth, he meets his mother. And in the sixth, tears are wiped from his face. Martin O'Shirhon. Jesus. No, you lose five points. What name is commonly given to these and other depictions of the journey of Jesus along the Via Dolorosa? Warwick Pollard. Stations of the Cross. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses, Warwick, are on local government districts in England. In each case, name the district from the list of locations. All three answers comprise a compass direction and the name of a county, for example, West Essex. Firstly, Utoxta Racecourse and the National Brewery Centre at Burton-upon-Trent. Staffordshire. North Staffordshire or something? Is that about right? I think so. North Staffordshire? No, it's East Staffordshire. Secondly, the former abbey that is now St Edmundsbury Cathedral and the Church of St Mary at Mildenhall, noted for its decorated chancel. South South um, Maybe, I'm not. South Suffolk. No, it's West Suffolk. And finally, Woolacombe Beach and the Linton and Linmouth Cliff Railway. North Devon. North Devon. North Devon. North Devon is correct. <laughs> We're going to take a music round. For your music start, you'll hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can tell me the name of the artist performing. Goodbye, Joe. Me gotta go, me oh my oh. Me gotta go, pull the P-Ro down the bio. My Yvonne, the sweetest one. Oh Warwick Braid. Woody Guthrie. Nope. You can hear a bit more, Merton. Son of a gun, 
Martin O'Shichon. Willie Nelson. No, it's Hank Williams. So we'll take the music bonuses in a moment or two. Here's another starter question. What slightly alkaline bodily secretion contains salts of acids, including colic and LCA? In the intestines, the salts act as surfactants. Merton O'Shechon. Bile. Correct, yes. <laughs> so you'll be delighted to hear that you get the music bonuses. Hank Williams, whom you heard there, was once a member of the prestigious country music organisation, the Grand Old Opry. For your bonus questions, you're going to hear three more artists who are or have been Opry members. Please name the artists in each case. Firstly... I go out walking after midnight Anyone know? Out in the moonlight No idea. I mean, just my own how old... I don't midnight, think we're going to come close enough for it to be worth just using more time. Chance. <laughs> just pass. I don't know, just... Pass. That was in 1957. It was Patsy Cline. Secondly... I'd be tempted to guess Carole King, but I don't think that's right. Sure. Carole King? It's not Carole King, it's Emmy Lou Harris. And finally, who's this? <laughs> we don't know, sorry. That's Carrie Underwood before he cheats. Ten points for this. Named after an Algonquian speaking people, Montauk Point is the easternmost extremity of which island? About the size of Cornwall. Martin Isotta. Long Island? Correct. <laughs> Three bonuses on physical research facilities. Which research facility at Batavia, Illinois, includes the Mini Boone and Minerva experiments, as well as the Tevatron Collider? Any idea? JPL, maybe? JPL? Um, JPL? No, it's the Fermi National Acceleration Laboratory, or the Fermi Lab. Located near Didcot and named after two physicists, which complex includes the Diamond Light Source, the Isis Neutron Source, and the Central Laser Facility? I thought that was the Harwell Science Campus, but... Sure. But it's, it's, that's not two names. Oh, yeah. I know this. Oh, God. Sorry. Uh, Harwell? No, it's the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory. And finally, the transuranic element Dubnium is named after a research facility in which country? Dub. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. I've never heard of a dub. I, um, I, I, don't, I don't think there are many in Ireland. I, I would be tempted to go to statistically either the US or Dubrovnik? Russia. Where's Dubrovnik? Dubrovnik is Croatia, but I don't think it's, there's nothing. Mm. I don't think there's anything in Croatia. I'd be inclined to say Ireland. Yeah, just going to. You want to? Ireland? Ireland! <laughs> it's in fact dub as in Dubna. It's in Russia. Ten points for this. Oghus and Kipchak are branches of which large language family? Spoken over wide areas of Western and Central Asia and smaller areas. Martin is on her. Turkic. Turkic is correct, yes, well done. <laughs> Your bonuses are on a Dutch city. Which city is the capital of the province of North Holland? The name was adopted by a district in Manhattan, now with a slightly altered spelling. Harlem. Harlem. Harlem? Correct. Active in the city in the early 17th century, Cornelis van Harlem and Hendrik Goltzius were exponents of the Dutch branch of which European art movement? De Stijl or Bauhaus? Yes. Sure. Which one? Uh, De Your call. I, I don't know anything. <laughs> just, just say the first one. Yeah. De Stijl? No, it's mannerism. And finally, a museum in Harlem is dedicated to which prominent Dutch portrait artist who died in 1666? His works include the banquet of the officers of the St George Militia Company. Is that Rembrandt? Sure. Uh, I think he's a little bit late for Rembrandt. Possibly, I don't know. Vermeer? I mean, they were fairly contemporary. You go with it. Rembrandt? Go. Yeah, go. Rembrandt? That was Franz Hals. Ten points for this. Written in double-struck or blackboard bold form, what letter of the alphabet is used in mathematics to represent the set of all integers? Uh, Warwick Rott. Z. Z is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on linked titles. 
Directed by Armando Iannucci, which 2017 satirical film stars Simon Russell Beale as Berrier and Steve Buscemi as Khrushchev? The Death of Stalin. The Death of Stalin. The Death of Stalin. Correct. The Death of Klinghoffer is a 1991 opera by which US composer, also noted for Dr. Atomic? Who? John Adams. John Adams. John Adams is correct. And finally, The Death of the Author is a 1967 essay by which French critical theorist? His other works include The Eiffel Tower and other mythologies. I think it's either Bart oh. or Foucault. I think I it might be Bart. Yeah. I think it's Bart. Mm. Bart. Mm. Bart. It is Roland Bart, yes. <laughs> right. We're going to take another picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a painting. For ten points, name the artist. Warwick Bray. Uh, Magritte. Magritte? Nope. Anyone want to buzz from Merton? Merton O'Shirhan. Dali. Dali is correct. <laughs> Following on from that work by Dali, your picture bonuses are three more examples of eggs in modern art. Name the artist in each case. Firstly, this 1996 self portrait. No, yeah, I don't know. Last night, we, we may not be my artist of that time. Um, OK. Gillian Waring? No, it's Sarah Lucas, self-portrait with fried eggs. Second, this work of 1947. No. No. Pass. That's by Leonora Carrington. And finally, this is a late work by which US artist? Warhol. Sure, yeah. Warhol? It is Andy Warhol, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. A novel of 1983 by D.M. Thomas and a film of 2002 directed by Atom Egoyan share what six-letter name? It also appears in the Book of Genesis as the name of mountains that served as the resting place of Noah's Ark. Uh, Warwick Rout. Ararat. Ararat is correct. You get a set of bonuses this time <laughs> on Island Peaks. More than 4,800 metres in height, the highest island peak in the world is Puntjak Jaya. On which large island? Its territory is shared by two countries. Tierra del Fuego, maybe? Borneo. Oh, it could be Borneo, yeah. Borneo? That's no, New Guinea. Almost 4,000 metres high, Jade Mountain is on which island? Until 1945, it was the highest peak in the Japanese Empire. Um, was Taiwan, maybe Taiwan? Yeah, that sounds Taiwan? right. Taiwan? Correct. At a little over 3,300 metres, which volcano is the highest peak on a Mediterranean island? Etna. Uh, yeah, good. Etna. Etna is correct, yes. Ten points for this. The subject of an 1839 essay by Thomas Carlyle, which working-class movement took its name from a six-point document uh, whose demands... Warwick Braid. Chartism. Chartism is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on veins in the human body, Warwick. Most veins transport oxygen-depleted blood to the heart. Which veins carry oxygenated blood to the heart? Is this what they have pattern? Portal veins? Or does that probably goes to the liver, doesn't it? Um, the aorta? Is that a vein? Like, maybe. The what? Aorta. That's the pulmonary veins. The superior mesenteric vein and the splenic vein Joined to create which vein it brings digestive products and other metabolites to the liver? The hepatic portal vein. The hepatic portal vein. Correct. For what does the letter S stand in the abbreviation GSV, this being the longest vein in the human body? Sciatic, maybe? Mm -hmm. Sciatic? No, it's saphenous. We have three minutes to go and ten points for this. Established by the Treaty of London in 1949 and distinct from the European Union, which association of states <laughs> seeks to... Martin is Otter. Council of Europe. Correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on 20th century literary titles. All three answers contain the same five-letter word. Amanda Wingfield and her children, Tom and Laura, are characters in which stage work of the 1940s set in St Louis? Oh, is this Glass Menagerie? Yes. Glass Menagerie? Correct. The English title of the 1943 German language novel, which has also been published under the Latin title Magister Ludi. Does that have glass in? The glass bead is by Hermann Hesse, who is German writer, but. I can try that. The glass bead? The glass bead game. 
so you don't get it, I'm afraid. Which 1972 children's novel was the second to feature the character Charlie Bucket? Oh, glass, Charlie great glass, glass elevator. elevator. Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. Correct. Ten points for this. Which alkaline earth metal links red flame fireworks, toothpaste for sensitive teeth and nuclear fallout? It's named after a settlement in Sunart in Western Scotland. Warwick Rout. Strontium. Strontium is correct. You get a set of bonuses. They're on major cities of Germany. Which city gives its name to a 1973 studio album by Lou Reed and is home to a tart, low-alcohol style of beer known as Weisser? Um, Munich. Do you want a city? Yeah, it be Munich. Munich. No, it's Berlin. Which city gives its name to a light-coloured beer traditionally served in small, slender glasses? Its cathedral is the largest Gothic church in Northern Europe. Cologne. Yeah, Cologne. Cologne is correct. Which city's breweries include Spaten and Augustina? Its English name is the title of a 2005 film directed by Steven Spielberg. Munich. <laughs> Munich. Munich is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Binzi Poplars and the Wreck of the Deutschland uh, are among the... Warwick Braid. Gerald Manley Hopkins. Correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on novels connected to Derbyshire. Set during the Restoration, which novel by Walter Scott includes in its title the name of a castle near the Derbyshire village of Castleton? Um, things that aren't up even home. Lady Rowena. Lady Rowena. No, it's Peveril of the Peak. Set in Derbyshire, The Lair of the White Worm is a horror novel of 1911 by which Irish writer? A bit too early for Joyce, right? Mm -hmm. um, is it something like Sing? Or... It could be Sing. Sing? No, it's Bram Stoker. Concerning the disappearance of a girl in Derbyshire in 1963, A Place of Execution is a novel of 1999 by which Scottish crime writer? Is that Val McDermott? Val who? McDermott. McDermott. Yeah. McDermott. Val McDermott is correct. <laughs> that means that at the dawn, Merton College Oxford have 90 and Warwick University have 190. <laughs> well, that was a terrific performance. We look forward to seeing you very much in the quarterfinals. You're on great form. Merton, thank you very much for taking part. I'm afraid you're going to be packing your bags and going home. I hope you can join us next time for another second round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Merton College, Oxford. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Warwick University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>